In this video, we're going to show you how to make this darling frog centerpiece. And I think it would be cute for a child, but you wouldn't have to put a candle. You could put a bowl full of their little treasures in the middle. And he just turns out darling. And I think this video will help you figure this out. And the download is just $2 on our website. You're going to make four frogs, um, two and two. And you're going to Xerox your paper pattern and the body you'll have to tape in the middle, the top and the, and the bottom. This is his mouth, this is his head. And I know that looks confusing, but it really does work. Now, I use two fabrics because you're going to have two colors of frogs. It doesn't work with any more colors of frogs. It has to be two. And preferably your fabric would be a light and a dark. And you're going to make two with one of the fabrics on top and the other one on bottom and then reverse and make two with the other fabric on top. And you put two fabrics together and then batting. And then you're going to sew with smaller stitch length around and leave this part open. And then cut on the outside dash line, remove the paper, don't turn it right side out yet. And then you're going to make all your other pieces the same way. Now, for turning some of these pieces that have a narrow opening, use a straw. This was from a commercial drink bottle, so it's a little thicker. You can use a McDonald's straw and put the straw up into the end of your piece and then a dowel or something that will fit inside that straw to reverse the fabric and once you've got it reversed you don't need the straw but then just use the dowel to push it right side out. Okay and then once the dowel's up there you can use it for for this for example bringing the toes out. Okay and that's a really easy way for turning. Now there's one more fun trick for making the eyes and you're going to put two pieces of fabric right side together. Now on the white I did a double layer just because I really wanted the white to um, not be see-through. Then I folded a piece of fabric wrong sides together and uh, placed it along so the fold is next to this design line and it's in between the two fabrics. Then I'm going to sew around on the solid line back stitch and cut it out and when you cut it out then you get the really cool eyelids which you're going to then cut felt irises and pupils and then just with stitch uh, thread kind of go around um, perpendicular to the edge and then you're going to do a center, do the pupil, pupil, and then I do a French nut with white to give it a little sparkle. Okay, now the what you're going to do with those two eyeballs is we've left this open, we haven't turned it yet. We're going to put it, put them side to side in this opening so that the color of fabric that the eyeballs are is next to that color. Okay, and then we're going to stitch across. Then to turn this piece right side out, since it's stitched all the way around, I'm going to do a little slit right here with one layer of fabric. This part won't show. It's actually folded out when the mouth is assembled. So right there, and I'll turn it right side out and whip stitch that closed. All right. Now we're putting this little guy together. And this is the fun part, oh my goodness. Okay, so we put him together like this. We used our paper pattern for marking this line on both sides, line them up and stitch them. And you think, wow, is this gonna work? It's so cool. So the head falls back and then the mouth, you can stitch it right here too if you want, or you can hand tack it, it's okay but this is going to fold back like that. And thereby it, it covers up that slit and it makes a cool mouth. And then we can 
hand tack it here so that it will stay closed. And then the feet are, I, I like to gather this in. I zigzagged it closed. I didn't turn it under anything. Pull it like that and then hand gather like that and then just hand um, attach it with blind stitch to the little body. Now to do the little hands, I've um, just zigzagged the raw edge and then on this little hand, I'm gonna put it this way and straight sew across and then I'll tack it down. On the back hand, I'll straight sew it first and then I'll blind stitch that on so I don't have stitches on this side. And then his little feet are like uh, separate like that and it turns out so cute. And then I'll just finish all the little frogs around and we'll show you what that looks like. Now this little frog is finished. It just turns out darling. The little dimensional mouth and feet and just so fun and little kids will just love this for their room. We'll put a bowl in the middle and just have fun with it. So cute, just makes you happy. I hope you enjoyed this video.